Hey there, welcome back. Well, I'm super excited today to tell you about a new update that's just been released for the NS Panel Pro. Now, bear in mind, this is only the 120 version at the moment, but what they've done is they've basically sideloaded F-Droid onto the system and you can automatically download the Home Assistant client so that you can run Home Assistant on the F-Droid on the NS Panel Pro without having to do any hacking yourself. So let's have a look at how easy it is to do this. The NS Panel Pro is basically a tiny Android based smart home panel that can be installed wherever you might have a light switch. Do bear in mind that this device does not have any relays, so you would need to connect a separate relay to control that light. It also has a built in Zigbee and Matter Hub. You can create your own customized dashboards within the system itself. The CPU is a quad-core ARM Cortex-A35 with a GPU G31 2EEE, has eight gigs of MMC storage, two gigs of DDR3 RAM, and Zigbee 3.0. It has a 4.7 inch touchscreen and also allows two-way talk through the one watt speaker. It's currently on a special of $89.90 with the Black Friday sales. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now it was possible to run Home Assistant on the NS Panel Pro before, but you had to basically load it up as a web page. And it was quite frustrating because the moment the system did an update, basically went back to the default NS Panel Pro screen. With it loaded on the F-Droid, it basically stays permanently in Home Assistant mode, and you have to power off and repower on the device if you wanna go back to the NS Panel operating system. From the front page of your NS Panel Pro, swipe down, and select this new item. It's called Odroid. What it's gonna do now is start updating the repositories. This might take some time. Now select search, type in Home Assistant. There we have Home Assistant, select the download and it'll start downloading it. Now that it's downloaded, we can go along to Odroid or Fdroid settings and we'll say, allow this source and we'll say, install. There we go, it's installed, and now we can open. We'll say continue. You'll see that it's found my server, so I'll click on that, type in my name. We'll select my Simon Says dashboard, and there we can see we've got my whole dashboard. It's working perfectly. It's loading my cameras. This is absolutely fantastic. So much better than running it in a web page. If we select some of our other screens, let's go to our New dashboards, our default dashboards from Home Assistant. These are really cool. As you can see, we can now click onto lights. And you can see it's pretty responsive. We can select a light. There we've got a WLED. And we can control the colors look really good. I'm super impressed with the performance of this device. It's really snappy. We can switch devices on and off. Well, please let me know what you think of this new way of loading Home Assistant onto the NS Panel Pro and if this will make you want to buy one of these devices. Well, that's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.